All right, everyone, again, welcome back to Training Thursdays. I do this as much as I can, especially when I'm not hosting a big event, but um, I just do these many training sessions on Thursdays around 12 p.m. Eastern. So over the summer, we have been talking about um, different themes. Each week, I've taken a break from recording new episodes for the podcast and have featured one um, of the previous ones, um, some way back, some more recent. And um, we're going to do another one next week, actually focusing on emotional eating. Then August, we will be back with new episodes of the More Than Your Weight podcast. If you have not subscribed to the More Than Your Weight podcast, do so. Um, There will be new episodes every Tuesday morning, a mixture of solo episodes and then guest interviews and have some exciting ones lined up. So I'm really excited about that. But wanted to say welcome, welcome again to Training Thursdays and um, welcome to the Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group and you're watching on replay, you want to join it. This is where the bread and butter of um, value comes from. So yes, I do a newsletter each week. Um, Yes, I do a podcast each week. Um, I do a training from time to time. I do challenges, but all of that is actually mainly hosted in my Facebook group. In my Facebook group, there are daily posts. Um, different questions, um, different teachings, different takeaways. And then I go live in the Facebook group and you can just interact a lot better in this community. It's a community of over a thousand women where you can kind of get support along your journey. There've been many many women who've been a part of the group for many years since I started it. Um, I think I started the group nearly five years ago. I think this November, maybe I started it. So I love, love, love having the Facebook group as a way to um, support you guys on your health journey and as a way to build community. So if you're not a part of the group or you're part of the group, but you're not using it to its full capacity, join the More Than You Wait Women's group on Facebook. A simple way to go to it is madewell345.com slash community. And again, if you're a part of it, engage more, post more. So I don't allow um, promotion posts for you to promote any products or anything like that. Um, I do that from time to time, but it's a space to get supported, to share your wins, share your takeaways, and also invite other women so you can do it together. All right. And um, yeah, and we do trainings like this from time to time. Okay. So today we're going to talk about holistic health. All right. What is it and why is important and why you can ignore it? Really? I often say, Um, I introduce myself as a holistic health and life coach. And the reason why I do that is because that's actually like my journey and all my clients' journeys really hit their um, breakthrough when we really focused on holistic health. Okay, so let's talk about that. Um, What is holistic health? Well, holistic, as you could probably tell by the word, is whole. We're looking at the whole picture, the whole person. All right. And you can look at this from a variety of avenues. You know, I recently, um, you know, really said that, you know, with the more than your weight podcast, even the book that I'm working on, I really help women look at mind, body and soul. So the mindset around food, their bodies, emotional eating, um, exercise, all of that, like focusing on a healthy mindset, particularly towards themselves and their health, but then also body, like actually focusing on habits to care for their body. And then soul is the other areas of art, the things that primarily matter, like what I would call primary food, the things that are what the Institute for Integrative Nutrition would call primary food is the things that primarily feed us and nourish us and um, make us who we are and bring us life. And those things are, yeah, things such as um, your career, your finances, your relationship, your spirituality, right? And so, you know, I help my clients with that whole picture. Obviously, most clients, as when I say a health coach, come to me to really work on the body part, which I think is a great place to start, which is I, that's why I focused in on really saying, yes, I help you with your mindset of food, but also creating healthy habits and a healthy lifestyle. It's more than about just your weight. And so when I say holistic health, I say from that point of view, like I really want to help you be healthy, mind, body and soul. But even if you're coming to me to just get support with your body. There's a holistic picture there. You cannot just focus on what you eat. You cannot just focus on how you move. You need to focus on your stress management. You need to focus on your sleep, your digestion, your toxic load, because all of those together impact one another and impact your body and your health. And then mindset. We can't just think about, oh, uh, I want to work on my relationship with food, but then actually really hate how your body looks. That doesn't go hand in hand. You need to find balance and harmony in, in that area as well. Um, And then in your life, um, you know, if you are spending a lot of time 
focusing just on your physical health, but your relationships aren't where you want them to be, your finances aren't, then how are you going to really have a healthy and thriving life? Um, I mentioned uh, a previous client was actually in this group and um, she want, was working on getting her finances in order for a while and she was then became debt free, had a really great um you know, cushion and just really healthy financially. And then she decided to invest in her health in, in a big way, right? But she was a part of this group still, you know, um, engaging and so forth. And, and, and that goes hand in hand, right? And you can't allow yourself to be stressed in all these areas of your life um, and think it doesn't impact, impact you, all right? So holistic health is looking at the whole health of a person, the whole picture and the whole person. And obviously you don't want to, um, try to attack all of those areas at one time. And that's why as a holistic health and life coach, I really help you rein in and say, all right, these, this is what I'm hearing from you. This is where I hear that you really want to work on. Let's start there. Let's create a roadmap and then slowly make sure that we're working on these other areas, right? So that is what holistic health is, okay? Um, I would love to hear from you. What does holistic health mean to you? It might actually mean something different. But when I talk about being a holistic health and life coach, that's what I talk about. Because even in my own journey, um, focusing on all of those areas, particularly um, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally really helped me find wholeness, balance, and breakthrough. And then eventually um, started to work um, on these other areas, okay? All right, so let's talk about today really briefly. Um, why um, three reasons your holistic health needs to be number one priority in your budget and schedule. One, I kind of just talked about this already, but the first thing is that um, what primarily nourishes you is not just what's on your plate, right? It's this soul, this life part that I was just talking about. Primary food could be considered your finances, your career, your relationship, your spirituality, even your physical activity, um, your, um, your purpose, your calling. And those things really nourish you and bring you life. What's on your plate would be, or, or what's on your plate, you know, nutrition wise can be considered your secondary food. Of course, it physically nourishes you and allows you um, to do the things that you really want to do. We don't, we spend a lot of our time in that other quadrant, right? And looking at our finances, working in our career, caring for our families, doing what we feel called to. And so we want our bodies and our health to support us to do those things, but we don't want to ignore those things. And so the reason why your um, holistic health, your primary food, those other areas of your soul and your life are important is because, uh, I mean, this is all connected. These three reasons are all connected, but it is the fact that they're all connected, right? If I am not healthy financially, I'm going to be really stressed. I'm not going to have the money to invest um, in my health, in my life. Um, I am just not going to be my best self. And obviously, um, there are seasons where things are tighter financially, things were abundant, but we just really, like, I've recognized in my own journey that my first thing was, okay, I'm going to care for my physical health. And when I really found some balance, some habits and some consistency there, that's when I changed my career from being a public accounting auditor to running my own business and obviously did other things with running a non-for-profit, um, starting different things, did all of that. Um, but um, I did not ignore calling and purpose and career and what really brought me life. And doing this with you all, particularly when working with my clients, really brings me life and joy. And so when I'm taking care of my physical health, I'm saying, okay, yeah, it's also allowing me to show up for this other thing, for these, for my business. But also when I do my business, well, one, because my nature of my business is health, but uh, it allows me to also, oh man, as I teach this, I need to practice it. So it's all connected right? And your physical health impacts these other areas of your life and vice versa. So one, what primarily feeds you and nourishes you is not what's on your plate. It's not just physical health. It is all these other areas of your life, your finances, your career, your mental health, your relationships, your spirituality. And then two, it's all connected. So if one is healthy, um, it's going to impact the other area of your, um, your, your health and your life. When one it isn't, it's going to impact the other areas, right? So it's all connected. And it's the same thing with our body systems. If you've ever taken a human anatomy class or have learned about in health class in high school, 
Now you have these various systems in your body. You got your cardiovascular, you got your respiratory, you got your skeletal system, you have your nervous system, you have your excre excre um, excretion system or respiratory, digestion system. And actually, if you learn about how they all worked, it's a hormone system. It's like when one is not healthy, neither are the others because they are connected. So your body in itself is designed to be connected. And so, so are you to these other areas because you are a whole person, right? And you are a holistic being, all right? And that goes to number three. Like I really tried to break these apart, but maybe it's telling to say that like, even in my three reasons, they're all connected. So one, yeah, your, your what primarily nourishes you is not what's on your plate. So you need to pay attention to primary food. Two, everything's connected and they impact each other. But three, you are a whole being, mind, body, soul. Like you cannot ignore the other parts of your life um, because it, it will cause detriment. It will cause imbalance. Obviously not everything can be balanced the whole time, but we need to be conscious and caring about these other areas. And that's even with my um, food journal and habits tracker that you could purchase actually. It's only, um, I forgot how much it is, it's $27. Um, but I offer this to clients is that when we're tracking our habits, there are even some other spaces to look at these other things. Like we wanna make small steps in a few areas and then add on and add on because we wanna be caring about our whole life. And a lot of my clients, my very first client, five plus years ago, we started working together on her physical health, right? What she was eating, how food was impacting her, consistent exercise. But as we started working together, I mean, her, she realized that she needed to care for herself spiritually more, needed to care for herself emotionally more. And eventually she started it an online ministry. And I worked with her from that point of view, really like this purpose, this life coaching right? Because she realized that when she started to care for her body, she needed to care for these other areas of her life. And that is the same for you. And so if you have been like, okay, Brian, I know that I need to care for my body. I need to invest in my health, health is wealth, all these different things. But there are other areas of my life that I really want to pay attention to as well. Then I would love to support you. I am a holistic health and life coach. I have health coaching clients that have turned into life coaching clients that actually then have some have turned into business coaching clients because I have my MBA, because I have um, been in the business world for over a decade and have, I've run my business for over half of that. Um, I know a thing too about business, right? And so I really say that when I, you know, made well the original um, mission statement, which it still is for the overall, my overall business is that I really want to help women be healthy and thrive in all areas of their life. But it's for me, I do start with physical health and I help support them in other areas. But maybe you're like, Brie, I think my physical health is a little okay. I just may need, may need a little help, but I really need help managing my time. I really need help um, prioritizing tasks, or I really need help just dealing with all of this other stuff. Then let's talk. And so um, I am actually from now to the end of what's today, July 22nd. Now to the end of July, I have five spots that I am booking. Um, you might be able to, like, I think all my spots for July are actually booked, but you can book him for the beginning of August. Uh, I have five spots that I'm doing free coaching sessions, a free 30 minute health breakthrough call. And this is a space where you we can come together and there's a pre question there and you can let me know what's that one area you want to work on. It may be your finances. I mean, goodness gracious, I'm accountant. I'm dealing with my, my relationship with my finances too. It could be, a uh, relationships. It could be um, stress management. It could be nutrition. It could be sleep, whatever. Book that call and let's have, let your have, let's work together to have a holistic health breakthrough. Okay. I offer these about a couple times a year, a certain amount of slots. And so I really want to support you. And so these calls are for women who have not booked a call with me before, have not had a coaching session with me before, because I really want to um, serve them. Maybe you've been in my group, in my Facebook group, you've been in on Instagram, or you've been in my email list, or you've been on YouTube, whatever. Um, and you want to get a little bit of help. This is for you. It's just a call. Um, it will be through uh, audio um, for the first two weeks of August. Since I'm out overseas, it will be on zoom audio, but when I get back, it will be just a phone call. Right. And so don't worry about looking pretty or anything. Though you look pretty all the time, uh, but it'll just be a space to get support. Now, if you have booked a call with me before, but you want further support, that would be a discovery or clarity call. Meaning, 
let's talk about what you what you want support on and then i could tell you about the coaching programs that i have to support you all right but for now if you have not booked a call with me before book that free session madewell345.com slash strategy i only have five spots and these usually go really quick uh or if you're just like brie i have but i'm not quite sure which call to book just message me and we can talk and i would love to just support you i am in the season of really taking on new clients um, I have a few spots available um, and I just want to kind of book those out so I can focus on some other major projects that I have coming up that, oh, you're going to love. Uh, but let me tell you, the, the bread and butter of my business is not my Facebook group. It's not my podcast. It's not my emails. It's not these free trainings. It is one-on-one -on -one coaching. All right. So many women have just come and have said that um, they feel heard. They feel safe. They feel supported. They feel like hope again um, and they, they're very clear on what's the next best step for them versus looking at all of these things right all when i say all these things too here in trainings and challenges there are a bunch of tips but maybe you don't quite know how to apply it to your unique life and that's where you get the breakthrough in a coaching session and this health breakthrough call this free 30 minute session is a taste of my overall bigger sessions and the taste of what it's like to work with me all right, so book that call, madewell345.com slash strategy. I would love to support you. Again, these calls go quick, um, but um, really think that uh, this could be a game changer for you as you consider your holistic health, who you are as a whole person and who you are with your whole health, okay? That's it from me. Let me know if you have any questions and I will be back next week um, to do another training. Um, and we're gonna be talking about emotional eating next week. And then in August, little surprise, we're going to talk about meal planning, a little bit about movement on the podcast, but there's going to be a special thing that I'm doing around meal planning, because this has been something that so many of my clients and women have had um, struggle with just making it super easy and simple. So stay tuned to that, but don't wait, book a call if you haven't booked one yet, and let's work together to have, for you can have your holistic health breakthrough. Okay.